Hi, this is Ricky, and I just updated my wing to iNav 3.0. Um, I restored most of my diff, but I know that there was a new setting that I kind of like this one a little better. This one right here that says um, the pitch trim, because usually my wing needed like four or five degrees of um, up trim for it to fly straight or level in the uh, navigation mode. So how I would do that, ah, here it is. So it's in the configuration. So it says this, and it looks like the trim has moved from here and now it's in the CLI under mechanics. So this is a new one. So let's look at that one. That one is new. So the PID tuning. Mechanics. Everything is good because I do a pretty good job of mechanically trimming my plane, except for it needs this. So this is going to be, I'm going to change this to five degrees. And then I'm going to save. And then now I want to go back to this beginning. Okay, so that, that, that looks good. So now my wing, when it's normal. Now, one thing that you'll notice is that this wing tip is down a little bit. That's because I had to rotate my board 90 degrees. So for me to adjust the board alignment, um, instead of the pitch, it was actually the roll. So now let's go into the um, CLI and let's see if I can even get this. So let's do this. Maybe it's get align. So it must be this one. It must be this negative 55, which was like five and a half degrees. So let me copy this and paste it. So now let's just set this to zero because I changed it in my, so we've got that. And then type in save. And it looked like since it was five and a half, so 5.5 .5 seemed like to be what I came up with. Then I'll come up to here and I'll change this to 5.5. .5. That looks normal. So now my wings look level. And then when I put the plane in a, you know, five and a half degree nose up out attitude, all right, so that looks good. Um, let's see how it flies. All right, let's talk about a couple cool things in iNav 3.0. First of all, looks like we have a new little logo for your wing. So this is this is my wing. This is the orientation of it. And the thing that I really want to look at is this mission control because I have always liked to make a bunch of missions. For example, um, this is the track field that I fly at a lot. So one of the things that I liked to do is make a quick little mission. And then I would click on this one. And down here, I'd want it to jump and it goes back to number one. So right now it says repeat one time. It gives me a, a distance of how many meters this whole thing is. And what I would usually do is I would put in negative one here. That way it would fly, basically fly in the pattern um, indefinitely or forever. And this was fantastic. And then here I can save it to my flight controller. Before I always had to use the multi-wee planning um, mission planner in Linux. So I would have to have a, uh, a virtual box and I would do it that way. So being able to do this is, is really, really cool.
So just to kind of show you what I've done, I can load a mission file. And here are the missions that I usually have. So I'm going to open up this one. This is that same mission that I created in the multi Wii. Actually, I'm going to kind of scooch this one up a little bit. So I have this. And what I can do is I can save it to my flight controller. So I'm going to click this button. It says it's saved, so hopefully it's going to work. And when I go test this out, um, like I said, hopefully it'll work. Okay, this is pretty cool. The mission loaded is showing up on the ARM screen. So that's pretty handy. I've always wondered if I forget to load the mission by using the stick commands, but now I'll know. All right, the auto launch looks fairly normal. I throw it like I normally do. It asks me to move the sticks to abort the auto launch. I immediately go into waypoint mode. And a couple of the first things that I notice is that in iNav 3.0, it doesn't have the jump command as its own waypoint. So it says it's only two out of four, whereas it used to say it was two out of five. The other nice thing about this is you notice just to the right where it says waypoint two of four, it shows you the distance it's going to take for you to get to the next waypoint. So after it hits three, it goes to four. And then because I did the jump command, it's going to go right back to number one and do this over again.